It's no wonder that Barramundi are one of Australia's iconic sport fish and scientists are making sure we keep it that way. They're securing this magnificent sport fish by going back to where life begins. Barra spawn in salt water at the mouths of creeks and rivers. But the tiny fingerlings soon move upriver into these freshwater lagoons and swamps. They stay here for about three years, protected from big predators. So these nurseries are crucial to their survival. Scientists have discovered a big rainfall helps more baby barramundi reach these protected nurseries. And that means more bigger barra turn up in the estuaries a year or two later. Generally, you've got to have the rain in January and February. That's the cue for the little uh, barramundi to move up into those freshwater lagoons. And uh, we've, the last two years we've been fortunate, we've had bumper crops of fish. Researchers also found that big floods are crucial for getting the barra out of the lagoons and back into the salt. Generally, the fish that move downstream are all adult mature fish. So they may have been up there for several years. They've grown to a size where they're reaching maturity. And the cue is that as soon as that flow comes along, they're off and they're, they want to get down there and take part in all the action down the mouth of the river. Now, small barramundi are all male, but when they reach about 80 centimetres, they turn female. This beautiful big mama is 115 centimetres and about 15 years old, a perfect breeder. In the wild, barramundi only spawn from October to January. But here in the Gladstone Waterboard Hatchery, big girls like this can spawn four or five times a year. Conditions in the breeding tank are strictly controlled because barra need perfect light, salinity and water temperature to spawn. There's one male to every three females in this tank, so the boys work pretty hard. Spawning itself only takes five seconds, but each female produces an amazing three million eggs over three nights. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae are reared under strictly controlled conditions until they reach about 50 millimetres. Then the fingerlings are released into nearby dams and the barramundi's amazing life cycle begins again. One way we fishers can ensure the future of this awesome species is by careful catch and release. Use a knotless landing net or lip grip. Keep the fish out of the water for the shortest possible time and always cradle the body of the fish if you do lift her up. More than 90% of released barra do survive if you handle with care. Okay, on your way. Please, please. 